All right, Dallas Cowboys. What are your favorite move the Cowboys made? Yeah, you know, I think Dallas has historically shied away from kind of trading for veterans, making some of the bigger, splashier moves. And I got to commend them for, for kind of bucking that trend. I think both with Brandon Cooks and Stephon Gilmore, are they long-term solutions? No, but do they address probably the two bigger needs the team had um, this offseason with, with cal- high caliber, high floor players. I think Brandon Cooks is still very, very good. Um, you know, he, when he played last year, kind of down the stretch, was still very productive. All he does is get traded, show up, and put up a 1,000 yards. And I think, again, him and C.D. Lamb, kind of like Amari Cooper and Elijah Moore, uh, Moore are so different. Right, You're going to get Cooks down the sideline, the, the, the taking the top off the defense type player, which allows C.D. Lamb to feast underneath out of the slot, rack up those yards after the catch, do all those things. And then Stephon Gilmore as well. You know, with the Trevon Diggs, I think now you have two legit dudes on the outside. You can do different things with them, put them in a more favorable environment. So, yeah, it was those trades. They, did, they didn't do a lot of free agency, but they, they they made the small splashes for cheap, you know, fifth and sixth round picks uh, that I think it was smart of them to do. No, absolutely. And the Brandon Cooks thing is fascinating because he's, he's had this weird career where, like, every year every he seems to get traded. But the less it costs to trade for him, the better the deal becomes, right? Like Brandon Cooks is a consistently good, impactful, you know, number one type wide receiver, a guy that can have success in pretty much any offense in the NFL. So the cheaper that deal ends up becoming, the better a move it is. And as you say, they've already got um, C.D. Lamb. They've already got like a pretty good group of receivers. Adding Brandon Cooks to that, I think, is is fantastic value. Stephon Gilmore showed last year that he still has plenty of juice in the tank, and he doesn't need to be a number one guy because you have uh, Trayvon Diggs. Those are two really, really good moves for them. Yeah, no, and just had to be done because I don't think you were getting any receiver of that caliber at all in free agency. Obviously, you also do get you know Houston to retain a big chunk of money uh, on the Cooks deal. Gilmore was relatively cheap to begin with, and then yeah, I mean it just when we went into the draft. I think it also enabled. I know we didn't love their draft. We'll get into that in a second here, but they didn't have any like glaring need. I think Mozzie Smith in the first made a lot of sense because I do think you wanted a more run stuffing guy next to Osa Digizua. Um, so I guess you could call that a need, but like they don't really need to force anything. I think they just took the player they like the most, you know, on their board. Yeah, absolutely. I think Mozzie Smith made the most sense to them in terms of addressing a need. They they do need to get stronger on the interior that defensive line have for a number of years. So I think that made a lot of sense. Um, outside of that, Schoonmaker, a tight end in the second round, felt like a little bit of a reach relative to where people expected him to go. Um, and overall, I think their draft was solid, not spectacular, but that, that Mozzie Smith pick, I think, was a, a good one. So overall, we gave Dallas a B minus, uh, a B plus for their free agency work, including those two trades, and a C plus for their draft, which was you know, a little bit meh, a little bit unspectacular, um, but you know, nothing you can really complain about. 